Let's have a little walk around here. We're at Norman's Bay. Down right at the bottom end of East Sussex. It's very nice. Lovely play area. What are we doing? Some eggs. Cooking eggs? Yeah. Cooking some eggs on the barbie. <laughs> a Ghanaian barbecue. Oh, you're wearing Ghanaian clothes as well, look. Yeah. The paper plates work. Oh yeah, have the yeah. paper plates, have you watched them I need three, we need three. That's all we've got left. Yeah, three. Perfect, mate, perfect. Got three plates. I feel like there's a lot more heat in one part. Yeah, like over here. Like that. Yeah, that more whiter over that side. Try and get the yolk over there. <laughs> so far we've been here for two days or one night and I've already baked I've decided to um, let's go with this camera decided to bake some little cupcakes they came out pretty well and then we had uh, spaghetti bolognese for lunch they were out there now cooking an egg thing on a, on a barbecue <clears throat> so I'm in here tidying up the um the mess so far that we've got and it's just gone one o'clock so it's a sunday today so we're going to be having a roast dinner soon it won't be long to get some advice all them americans out there how do you make a s'more s'more because yeah. we don't know do we Dad. i've got a clue how do you actually do a s'more Dad. come on i want feedback So I'm currently sitting there, I'm on the floor, and I'm going to see how well I can get this carpet to come up um, with just that Vanish Oxy Action stuff. You know the stuff I mean? That stuff over there, look. The Vanish uh, Oxy Action bag of stuff. Um, we'll see how far, how good I can get this carpet. Now, we've just been away. We've we've just come back, and we went all the way to Hastings. It's not far. It's only about two, and, two hour, two and a half hour drive. Um... And we had a good old time down there for the bank holiday weekend. But the carpet's taken a bit of a bashing. Um, you know, all of us going in and out, trying to get take the shoes off. But um, sometimes you spill things. We had a bit of a carrot and other stuff on the carpet. So let's see how good we can get it. So first of all, got to get all of the um, dirt up. There's a lot of crumbs and bits and bobs. Um, so I've got the trusty Sebo there, and that should do the trick. It's got a brand new bag in it. Hopefully we'll better get it nice with that. Um, we'll vacuum up all of the crumbs and bits of grass and stuff, because it was a grass pitch that we were on. We'll vacuum that up, and then uh, sprinkle down the powder and see what, how, how, how it goes. You've got to bear in mind that the carpet in here I'm assuming it's the original carpet, so it'll be 26 years old. So if I can get it any better than it is, you can see where, where it, what it used to be like. If we look around the edges, look where there's no footfall, no traffic here. This this is the bit where everyone walks on in the middle. This bit on the edge, look, that's what it used to be like. Quite fluffy. Um, here it's it's all made down. It's, there's no fluff there at all. So. Hopefully, combined with the Sebo and its nice brush roll there, that might be able to brush it up. Don't forget, I've also got a brush, so I'll be working in the vanish with the brush, getting that nice. I might better bring the pile up a bit more, because it's uh, somewhat matted, and hopefully uh, it'll come out well, so let's go.
I think is this area because that's where you come in the door the kitchen is there we, we dropped a carrot there and trod on it by accident and I dropped a spatula with a bolognese sauce on it there so there's a little bit of a stain there and a bit of a stain there there is there um, so this is the worst bit here and more of a kitchen here so you walk in the door and you're walking up and down there and then you're walking up and down here toilet is there so this is the bit where you kind of walk mostly the rest of it you kind of just walk up and sit down don't you so we'll sprinkle some here give it a good old work in with this stiff brush brush and try and get this to come up nice then we'll leave it dry for 20 minutes and vacuum it up Give it a good old shake up. Let's see. I used this stuff before. I used it indoors. And um, I thought it did a good job. I only wanted to see what it was all about. So I decided to get a bag and use it indoors. And I did. And uh, I thought it came up quite well. But we'll see what it comes up like on this carpet. to be unscented but it smells really nice we'll save the rest for the rest of the carpet While we're waiting for that to dry, I've got it all down in there. I've got it all around the whole carpet now. So, um, about 20 past three, that'll be done. So while I'm waiting for that to be done, um, we're going to turn those plug sockets off because no one likes to leave plug sockets turned on while they're on, I don't know. There's a stain in there I want to try and get rid of. That's been there for ages. It's been bugging me, that has. But I'm gonna, I'm tempted I might put a bit on here. I don't know yet. I don't want to spoil the colour of this settee, it's a nice settee. Um, I've just done all of the um, the duvet cover, um, the bed covers and all that, the bed clothes. Obviously the pillars and duvets here, I'll put that back under the chair once I've done it. The, um, the, the duvet covers are in the washing machine as we speak, being washed. Once they're washed, they'll be coming back in here, I'll put them on the duvet, put that under the settee, ready for the next little outing we're going to go on at some point. Um, just time to sort out a few of the cupboards and bits and bobs while I'm waiting. Now, I've just moved that one obviously. Every single time we go anywhere, I always find a nut and a screw. The screw doesn't even fit on that nut in this little shelf. Always, when it's in focus, of course. Every single time. Sometimes there might be two or three nuts. Sometimes there might be a nut and a, a screw. Sometimes there might be a screw and no nut. But they always appear there. Never any in these cupboards or anything. This one is me, uh... Oh, just drop that little nut. That's like my cleaning cupboard that I've got me, uh, Demon Shine and Polish and Window Cleaner and stuff in there. Oh, oh that shut. That cupboard smells lovely. I've just got some soap and Pringles and bits and bobs in here. Do you know what I'll do? I'll tell you what I'll do. Look at this. That's uh, a magnet set. This... This is, I'm proud of this, this is my little tin of stuff and in here, get it open, and get it open with one hand, come on, there we go, look, this is all vinegar, mayonnaise, right, wet white salt, that one's who put a wrapper in there? Bloody hell. Don't like it when people put wrappers back in. Why don't you put it in a bin? Um, where's the other half of it? You've got salt, you've got um, napkins and things. 
What's this one? That's another mayo. Yeah, all these look sugar. What's this one? Pepper. I always keep all of these. Obviously, I go through it. We've got wet wipes down there. Obviously, I go through it now and again and get rid of the ones that are a bit past their best. But, um... That's very handy because if you're ever out and about, say you're out and you get some food or you have your own food, you cook it and you think, oh bloody hell, we've run out of salt, vinegar, napkins, wet wipes. Got a tin absolutely full of them. Just packed up the remaining stuff out of the fridge. Um, what we didn't eat or drink. I hadn't realised a bit of a uh, bit of a damage there. I hadn't realised I wasn't the last in the fridge and. Uh, there was a couple of cans on the top on the shelf here and obviously we're not supposed to do that because it can break the shelf well I didn't realize that there was any cans on there so when I opened up the um, uh, fridge a minute ago uh, one of the uh, uh, that was all down there all fell out and uh, a bit of can exploded and it all leaked out down there and uh, that broken off the top of that one there so I have to take that off a bit of super glue glue that back on there and I'll have to double check next time there's nothing heavy in any of the shelves but um, I'm not sure what's going on with the fridge, it's reading 18 degrees so that's not right, that can't be right, that, that temperature, that thermometer must be no good I'll have to clean those racks as well, they're getting a bit corroded now Need to, um, get the crows knocked, but uh, yeah, never mind we'll sort that out, no problem at all, it's a new fridge as well, Ace. brand new fridge nearly there, nearly dry, 20 past that'll be done Look at the carpet. Still got a few bits and bobs left. Look, got a couple of pot noodles left in there. Didn't eat. Might have one of them actually for lunch. Oh, bloody hell. Of course, gone lunch and I might have one of them tomorrow or something. I don't know. Take one and have one for work or something. <laughs> well, I might leave them in here. They got a very long date on them. What else we got? Got the pancakes we didn't eat. Got loads of tins we didn't have, so we'll save them for the next one. I oh, love it. And what we got down here that we didn't why is this camera never focusing now what we got down here that we didn't eat that oh we got some uh, garlic and herb cracker sharing tub oh a loaf of bread that's important it's got to come out or that'll go moldy i'll take that in as well oh look some potatoes yeah we had um oh we had spaghetti bolognese first night we were there and then yesterday which was sunday we had a sunday roast so um cooked up a nice sunday roast we've got lots of crackers and stuff in there doritos yeah cooked up a nice sunday roast chicken um what else do we have roast potatoes and all that that little oven does bloody well um little gas oven three burner hob a little grill in there didn't use the grill though um, uh, cook a nice roast dinner on that, yeah, all for uh, one, four, three, four, for five of us, roast dinner for five, I cooked on all of that, and uh, come out quite well, roast potatoes, cauliflower, broccoli, um, Yorkshire puddings, a lot, you know, you would, everything you'd expect with a roast dinner, and I loved it. Alright, let's see how clean this can get. What I want to try and do is try and get the carpet to be a bit more fluffier than what it is. I don't like it when it's all like matted down. quite all cut up there's some little white patches still I'll have to wait for that to dry a bit more I and mean, perhaps it wasn't quite dry properly but it's definitely a lot better than it was and it feels a lot fluffier to actually walk on now as well which is what we want now this part here hasn't come up it's better than it was but it's not absolutely perfect also the, the floor the wood floor in this section here um, yesterday I think it, it well it has it started to delaminate now that means the, the, the wood is made up of different sheets of wood and it's all glued together um, it's starting to come unglued and that's why it, it, it's a bit bulgy there and when you stand on it it's starting to squeak 
it's gone a little bit soft it's just localized to that area there so uh, it's probably because it's where you mainly stand when you're at the kitchen and all of that kind of stuff a lot of foot traffic goes on this part this floor takes the most wear on it but um other than that everything appears to be a lot better than it was a minute ago Right, I'm going to go and get all the rest of this food and put it indoors, put other bits and bobs in the fridge and stuff like that and finish tidying up. But um, I've got a little bit of footage from the campsite we went to. It's called Norman's Bay and it's in uh, East Sussex it comes under, right near Knock Hatch. Knock Hatch is a bloody good place to go. If you want to go to somewhere fun, go to Knock Hatch. I might do a video on that when we go there again next time. But um, yeah, so a little bit of footage we got, we didn't get a lot, we got a little bit, I um, wanted to get some more, I even took the drone but I didn't get a chance, was doing so much, didn't get a chance to fly the drone. But um, we got a little bit of footage, I'll put the footage up and you can have a look to see what we, uh, what adventures we went to. And you might have even seen that already, depending on whether I decide to put that at the beginning or the end of the video. You'll see it regardless, a little bit of footage we got, and I'll catch you lot on the next one. Ciao for now. P.S. Don't think I've shown you a full tour of this caravan yet. Uh, you might have seen the other ones, um, but you've not seen a full tour of this one. I don't believe, not sure, can't remember if I've done a video of this one or not. But if you want to see a video of the whole, like a whole tour of this caravan, like a caravan tour, um, inside and out, I'll do a video on it. You just got to let me know if you want to see something like that, and I'll do a video. Catch you a lot later on. All the best.